Hey guys, it's me, Kat Ripley's here too, and we're gonna do a powder declutter! Yay! Anyways, I don't think I have a lot compared to a lot of other people, but I think I still have too many. When I first started my YouTube channel, it just seemed like I was at the drugstore every day. Whatever I had a coupon, if there was like extra bucks offered at CVS, I was gonna buy it, and that's just not the way I wanna live. So I'm planning to declutter a few, keep a few. Some of them are new, so and some of them I'm still trying to figure out. So let's go ahead and begin. This one is actually one I shared with my sister. It's the Patrick Star, the MAC. It's the Patrick's Powder. I split it with her, so I bought this container off of Amazon, and I let her have the original container, and I just took half, and she has the other half. And since I feel like I only have half the product, I feel like I'm going to keep it because I can go through it but faster than the other one. This is my Cody Airspren. I love this. This reminds me of my grandmother. This is the original translucent extra coverage. I'm a big fan of this. I, it's like a ride or die. I'm going to keep that. I just bought this off of um, Poshmark. I got this off of Tiffany Dawn's um, closet. She's another fellow YouTuber. Um, it's a little light for me, but I've been mixing it in. I just been kind of like set using it under my under eyes and stuff like that. I don't know why. I just it said what was the color was this medium tan. I figured that was my color. I think it's a little light, but I'm gonna keep it for now. These two, this is the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent medium deep, and this is not translucent on me. It's actually too dark, but. I also got this one. This is the uh, Laura Mercier Translucent, um, the original, which I think is too light. I've actually tried this before. I got like a 100 point perker, a little tiny one, and I felt like it's too light. And what I did was I mixed a little bit of the little 100 point perk with the dark one, and it made this like the best color. I bought this off of Poshmark. This is actually brand new, hasn't even been used. So I'm gonna be mixing these together. So I'm gonna keep these. This is another setting powder. This is from Beauty Bakery. I split it with someone and I only have half. So this is a yellow banana powder and I've been testing it out. I like it, so I'm gonna keep this. And plus I only have half of it, so we're gonna keep it. The next one is the Glossier Wouter. I just bought this during Black Friday. I do like it, I just use it to set my eyes. I haven't usually used it like all over my face. I think it's a good powder. I think the package, other than the name, I think the packaging is cute. I love the pink. All right, I haven't given up anything. So um, this Neutrogena one, this uh, skin clearing mineral powder, I've already got like hard pan on it and I only used it a few times. I don't think I like this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm also, I don't, I've never used this, this CoverGirl Out, Outlast all, all day. And this one is an 850. I haven't used that, so we're gonna get rid of that. And then um, I've been keeping this in my purse. This is the CoverGirl True Blend, and this is in Translucent Tawny. And I put it on the other day and I realized it makes me look a little ashy, so I don't like it. I am gonna keep these. This is my Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This one is in tan beige. I like this a lot. And I think I'm gonna keep this one in my purse. This one's the Fit Me 310 Sun Beige. So, it comes with a mirror. I've never used the um, sponge though, but I might start using it. And then this is the one that started my makeup session at all, starting to use MAC. And this is the Studio Fix. It's a powder foundation. This color is an NC43. These are This is what I use on the days that I don't wanna use liquid foundation. So there you go. So I'm keeping. I'm keeping 10. And I'm getting rid of three. What do you think, Rip? Probably still too many powders. We'll go through it again at the end of the year and we'll decide if we want to keep it. Maybe we'll even hit pan on some of these and then uh, just throw it out. What do you think? Anyways, that's my little powder declutter. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video or if you like seeing Ripley help me declutter. 
Let me know in the comments if any of these powders are your holy grail or if I should change my mind on any of this stuff and I should just throw it out now. And until next time, me and Ripley love you so much and take care.